will charge back, back. The genius sisters use him like a lab rat. The neat freak dad at home is super busy mom. The boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game control is skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test! Johnny Test! This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test! Johnny Test! Johnny Test! This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test! Father and I are trying a new parenting experiment. Since you're getting older, we need to treat you like you're older and more mature. And since Johnny hasn't broken anything in over four hours and the girls did an amazing job reshuffling our stock portfolio, we invested in a hot tub. A hot tub? They're like big baths. The hot tub is ours, sweetie. But also with our extra money, we got the girls the animal plasma they've been begging for. Awesome! And Johnny, you get the Smash Badger 3 video game. Yeah! But you get these things on one condition. We expect you kids to behave like more responsible people. And we don't want any trouble while we're in the hot tub. Bye! Johnny, you're on fire! I'm in the zone. Those boxes, baby! Backward smash for bonus points! Whoa! Dragon Beast, avoid the fire breath! I know that! Oh, that was... Woo! You have reached the next level! Level 16, Smash has to find the lightning power-up! There it is! Grab it! Yes! Yes! You're on the last level! All you gotta do is knock out Dr. Swamp Brain's legs and he'll explode into the swamp! You got it! <laughs> One leg eliminated! You paid for that badger! Just knock out two more legs and you'll destroy Dr. Swamp Brain and win the game! And I've got all three lives left! Two lives remaining! Am I worried? No. One life remaining! Ah! Game over! I lost? Well, I'll show that evil Dr. Swamp Brain to the computer! <laughs> For some Smash Badger cheat codes. I, the game is too new, and no game geeks have posted cheat codes yet. To the lab! Hey, let's play a game. It's called, you hack into my game system and unlock the cheat code so I can complete Smash Badger 3. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, we're working on a much more cutting edge program. Is it these hypobionic spring shoes? No. This gyroscopic belt? Go away, Johnny. Is it these laser resistant diamond studded chest plates, which are way too girly? If you must know, it's a wet dry matter converter. It changes uh -huh. software programs into actual living things. Hmm? So we don't let the program get out of control and freak out mom and dad, because we are to be trusted. We've designed a digital slug, and the converter will create it. Converting. Converting digital slug. Yes! We crossed the wet-dry continuum! Oh, now, let's see if the slug reacts to the wild like a real slug. And you guys, stay out! And you will with our new anti-Johnny and Dookie lab security system. Huh? Hmm. Okay, we hook the game box up to the girl's super hacking computer, hit the hack button, and ta-da! We get cheat codes. But most importantly, don't touch the floor! <gasps> That's not a hacking sound. That's a converting sound. <laughs> Smash Badger has come to life! Cool! Yes! 
Wait until the Institute sees the world's first dry to wet matter generated slug. Yeah! Oh well. Welcome! You are in reality, not a video game. And you are amongst humans, and don't break anything or touch the floor. I will be severely hurt if you do. I'm not sure he understands English. I knew you kids couldn't be trusted. We're getting out right now and taking away your plasma in Johnny's video game. Look at Magic Bubbles mode. <laughs> Five more minutes. I just wanted cheat codes. You used our matter converter and brought your video game character to life? <laughs> We're such geniuses. Hello? We don't know how to stop him. From <laughs> China! What's he doing? He's looking for points and extra lives and new weapons. <laughs> and I think he just found one! Flaming toast! <laughs> That's it! They're in trouble! <laughs> Sorry about the racket. We just wanted to fix you some gourmet coffee beverages. And here music and skulls. Five, Five more, more minutes. minutes. Are you sure this will stop him? Absolutely. Fire up the matter converter. Where's Badger? You can never beat me, Badger. It's working. Why you? has gone back to his digital game world. Okay, now how do we get rid of old Swamp Butt over here? Huh, I hadn't thought about that. Uh, and now, it's time for me to conquer and destroy level... Excuse me, what level am I on? Um, level Pork Belly? Level Pork Belly! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Hmm, what's going on? You're hiding something, and that house better be spotless! But it's movie popcorn time! No, I want to get out. I'm getting a bit shrivelly. You ninjas like monkey business? Ooh, a Speed McCool DVD! Level ah! of this strange level! Bow down to Dr. Swamp Queen! Game over! Everybody! Uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Starts with an R. Retreat! 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 I will rule all of you! And nobody can stop me! What a blowhard. Okay, hmm? here's the plan. Susan and Mary are geniuses, and they'll figure out what to do. Fine! How do you beat this stupid game? You have to jump, leap, flip spin, blast, and smash the pressure points on the bog pod to eliminate the legs and cause the pod to crash to the ground. And then we'll explode. And you will win! That's it? Well, it's not so easy, because the game only gives you three lives. Yeah, but this time, you'll have four! I wonder what it would have been like if a nice Amish family adopted me. Let's just stop the swamp dork. Yes, we swear our allegiance to you, and we will now be known as Dr. Swamp Brain City. Not so fast, Lame Brain. It's time for you to go back to your digital game world. Let's go! Look, those crazy pants and kids are defeating the swamp dude. Gyro belt! No! One leg down, two legs to go. But now you must taste my swamp bombs! <laughs> Spring 
You're such good kids. We should trust you more often. Yes, you, you should. should. Ew! What smells like poop? It's fertilizer, Johnny. And I bought it to help my hibiscus. I entered the pork belly flower off. Her place is a shiny ribbon! You actually paid for this smelly, nasty, rotten... No. It, yes. But it's not helping! And the judging is in five hours! Maybe you should yell at them. Plants need carbon dioxide. You're yelling as lots. I know. Don't just sit there and wilt! Stand up and grow and be pretty! Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. I save your flower and probably win you that contest, and all I get is a thanks. Not a dollar like other great fathers do? But don't spend it on candy! Candy! <laughs> Can't decide. Try Doc Fable's Honey Bunch Bar, nature's candy, and it's good for you. Ew, that's not candy. How can it be candy if it's good for you? Yeah, you're right. I just can't sell this crust. Go with the chocolate sugar nutty bar. It's got chocolate nuts and nougat. What huh? is nougat anyway? Who cares? Eat! The bees! They took my candy! They took all the candy! Except for the lame honey bars. Greetings, Pork Billy! What's going on? It is I. The beekeeper, and it is time you changed your unhealthy candy habits. I am here to see that you do, and you'll all be healthier and be more energetic. <laughs> I said be. <laughs> be. <laughs> Come, bees. Belly is a buzz with bees. <laughs> the beekeeper and his swarms of sweet stealing thieves have taken all the candy in the city. But who is this evil mastermind who wants us all to eat better? More on that after a word from our sponsor. It's delicious, nutritious, and straight from the hive. It's my piles of honey bar, nature's organic candy. Give it a try. Yuck! I need candy that's artificial and bad for me, not from nature! And you'll get it! I've hacked into the GPS system of a candy truck that was headed for Gristleburg. But now it's headed for your front door. Yes! Take that, beekeeper! You cannot stop Johnny and Dookie and their love of candy! What do you know? He can. This is just the beginning. You must be careful of what you eat. To be or not to be. All right, we get it, we get it. Blah, blah, blah. Why not to be? With the beekeeper holding the city's candy hostage, the super secret government agency has been called into action and had this to say about the candy napping. The important thing is for the city to remain calm while we handle this dangerous situation. Ooh, careful. This is very hot. What? 
are you doing? Remaining calm? <clears throat> Duh. You know, we really should thank the beekeeper. Maybe now you kids will put healthy stuff into your bodies. And, um, the bees are coming back. <laughs> We gotta stop the beekeeper. Sorry, but we won't harm innocent bees. They are wonders of nature. They pollinate the world's flowers and help them grow strong. But not as strong as Dad's yelling. And all you do is lie around and soak up the sun all day while I'm trying to win a flower contest! And besides, we can live without candy. How? It's impossible. I'm getting weak. Me, candy, to live. <laughs> Chocolate ice cream and sugar covered cereals. Egg pies! And so, throughout Pork Belly, kids are satisfying that sweet tooth craving on candy alternatives like pie. Kids of Pork Belly, ah! you think you are so clever eating pie and other sugary sweets, but ha! You will all eat healthier soon. Because I have unleashed my biggest swarm ever! And I will rid Pork Billy of everything sugary sweet! <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't say B. And now a word from our sponsor. I'm Doc Feeble. In these difficult times with sugared sweets being stolen by bees, try my piles of honey bar. It's naturally sweet and good for you. Try it, please. Nobody ever tries my honey bar. I will never try that barf bar. And nobody's gonna take away my pies! We have to stop that swarm and stop the beekeeper. To the lab! These magnetical bee swatters make over 1,000 swaths per second and will totally wipe out that swarm. Sweet! <laughs> Your anti-bee plan stinks. Hey, 90% of science is trial and error, but we've got a better idea. It's a huge swarm of bees! Run! That's right, Pork Belly. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> I didn't forget the bee that time. A queen bee? Can I be king? To the bees, uh -huh. the beekeeper is an artificial matriarch. But if you fly into the swarm dressed as the real queen bee and get the bees to accept you, then you can become their leader. And you can get them to do whatever you want. Like fly them right into phase two of our beekeeper busting plan. But I can't fly. Huh? I can fly! <sighs> <sighs> Okay, what happens if the bees don't follow me and reject me as their mother? You'll be stung beyond recognition. And be bedridden from massive swelling for years. It's a chance I have to take. The bees are coming! Head for the hair! Time for Johnny to be good! Nobody can stop me! <laughs> he had so much to live for! <laughs> yes! Now what's phase two of the plan again? The judge is coming in one minute, and now you finally look presentable! <laughs> you lose. him? I'm supposed to be their leader! And now it's time for the Honeymobile to become the Pollination Pickup! What have you done to my Honeymobile? It's now a beaming beacon for your bee! 
This is Queen Bee, Johnny. I have the target in sight. Let's go! <gasps> no! I'm your leader! Be good to me! Time to pollinate! No, oh, this is bad. <laughs> And now you're going to jail, beekeeper. Or should I say... Stop, Weevil! How else was he gonna unload those nasty piles of honey bars? But they're good and naturally sweet. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for the flaming-headed kid in the bee suit and those girls and the hairy kid. Get your hands up. No, let me go. Let me go. I'm Doc Feeble. And all this trouble for a huh? stupid, natural, not chocolatey candy bar that's supposed to be huh? good for you. Not bad. Yum! This is actually good. <laughs> nice! What do you know? These are good. Yum! Oh, that's nice.